Boom, hey guys. I got a question for you. You like Batman? Do you like Daredevil? But also, do you like crossovers? Now, I'm sure now people love crossovers. Batman and Superman working together. Captain America and Spider-Man. Captain America and Daredevil. Daredevil and Spider-Man crossing over. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Of course people love crossovers. If somebody doesn't... Duh. Okay, I don't care if I saw somebody. They should have their head examined. Crossovers are so cool. But what about... Intercompany crossovers? Like, though I don't know. Image and DC or Image and Marvel, but what about the two juggernauts, DC, Marvel? Oh my goodness, so cool, right? So, what I have here is da 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 da. da. Daredevil and Batman. And also Batman. Oops, sorry. Batman Daredevil. Yeah. Um, I think for this one video, I think I'm gonna do the Daredevil Batman. Um Alright, to tell you guys the truth, Daredevil Batman's pretty good, but I like Batman Daredevil the best. I mean, I love the artwork better in this. No defense to the artist in here. I mean, it's good, but I like the artist in here better. And I just love how they did this crossover better than this. Um. So yeah, I mean, so just to make it clear, Daredevil Batman, I believe this was mostly done by Marvel, and Batman Daredevil was mostly done by DC, but it says DC and Marvel on both, so, um, but for this video, I'm going to do the first time they met, and it's Daredevil and Batman, because the second time they met, it was Batman Daredevil. So I think it's only fair that we do this one first. Um, okay. So. Been here. Yeah. The villains is Dr. Hyde and Two Face. So, just in case you don't know, now you do. Um, right in the cover says it's an Elseworlds book. I mean, I mean, I'm usually not a big fan of Elseworlds, but besides the fact that DC crossed over with a Marvel hero, I don't see how this is much of an Elseworlds. So, and for the Batman Daredevil, there's nothing that says Elseworlds. Nothing. But yet they still say that they've met before. So, this is, and this is obviously in the main Batman continuity because of the costumes and because of the villains that appear. Yeah. So, um,. So, it says Elseworlds, but it's kind of not really. Um, you know, and of course, Batman, Dar Daredevil, we see them fight. And we see the Dr. Hyde and Two-Face work together. And, you know, there's something which is kind of creative, I think. Is that, uh... 
you know, usually Batman who might be doing this, but Daredevil is actually counting on Two-Face to be a little more human. And to be like, look, he, look, you know, he's, you know, he's probably not all bad. Let's get, you know, let's, let's go try to give him a chance. You know, Batman's like, no, he's a villain. He's doing this, you know. And so he's kind of, you know, because, because Matt Murdock and Harvey Dent had met during college. Um, so... So, you know, Harvey Dent and Matt Murdock, they kind of show, showed a little bit of a flashback. And, you know, Batman's just kind of like, it's not really giving them a chance. And Daredevil's kind of like, you know, might surprise you, you know. And so, uh. You know, and it's just, you know, Batman and Daredevil, they're trying to stop Two-Face and Dr. Hyde, and, so, I mean, you know, it's just about Two-Face, Dr. Hyde, just kind of. doing this technology type thing. I mean, it's too, I don't know, I just think it's just too broad, you know, like, it's like, tech, like, uh, like, kind of like, uh, like the technology uh, stealing kind of thing, and, you know, and just, or, or it may not really technology, just, um, almost like stealing, uh, program types, and, you know, yeah, and it's, you know, and so they're trying to steal kind of money, and, Things of real value, and there's like drugs, like these pills that he keeps, that Two Faces keep on giving Dr. Hyde, and, you know, it's, uh, it's too complicated, and it's too, you know, I mean, it's just too long to read, like, they're just giving you like, all these, like, words that you could just, you know, there's just a lot of unneeded words sometimes. It's just, you know, it's just gotten something that was like, oh. Yeah, and there was, you know, in these pills and stuff, you know, Dr. Hyde's, like, becoming violent or more violent and he actually got like this pipe or something wrapped it around this uh, girl that like two faces in, in him had hired but he kills her by wrapping this pipe and just you know and just pretty much choked her and kind of hanged her so she's kind of hanging you know and this pipe that he had wrapped around her neck New so it's like, whoa. Hmm. I think it's some kind of pipe or something. And I don't think it really says, but yeah. It's, you know, Batman Daredevil finds her. So it's like, ooh. Um, yeah. Uh, But yeah, I mean, you know, and the coolest part is that you kind of see Daredevil and Two-Face fight and Batman and Dr. Hyde fight, which you don't really see, which I, that's what I love about these crossovers. 
these intercompany crossovers. Like you get to see not only the heroes fight, but you also get to see, um, you know, a DC hero face off against a Marvel villain, vice versa. A Marvel hero face off against a DC villain that you don't really get to see. So, um, you know, you get to see a little bit of that, and it's it's pretty cool. And the very last part is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, Miss, you know, Bruce Wayne and Matt Murdock, they're at a party, and uh, Bruce Wayne tells them, don't come to Gotham, Murdock. And Matt Murdock, with a smile, and he goes, why, Mr. Wayne, are you daring me? So that, I love that. That was just too awesome. Um, so, um, yeah, it says, Eye for an Eye, and it's by, like, Chester, like, DG Ch Chick Chester, or, yeah, um, something like that. So, um, I mean, it was a alright story. Um, I love that they brought them together. It really is. Um, do I suggest you read it? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, for me collector's case and all this. So yeah, definitely read this because it's cool. You get to see the villains too. That's awesome, too. So, what do you think of this? Loved it, hate it. I mean, I loved it. But I would have changed a couple of things. But, um... Yeah. Um, but Daredevil Batman, pretty cool. I like the Batman Daredevil. And I think I'm going to uh, review the Batman Daredevil... In my next video, I don't really feel like doing it right after this one. Have this one be long and tiring. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, please, let me know. What is your favorite um, other company crossovers? Like, there's so much. There is, like... DC vs. Marvel from the 90s. There's JLA and the Avengers, which I love that one. That was pretty good. I do suggest that. You know, uh, there's, well, I think there's Superman Fantastic Four. I don't have that one, but there's, like, so much more. You know, there's, there's, like, Superman versus the Amazing Spider-Man. There's Batman versus the Incredible Hulk. You know, and there's just so much. And, you know, and I know there's, um, they did crossovers like these. Like they did a, um, they did other company-ish crossovers like, there's Batman and Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Batman, kind of format like that. There's the Batman Punisher, Punisher and Batman, which is from 1994, which those take place, the Batman and Punisher takes place probably during Night Quest, and uh, the Batman and the, and the Punisher and Batman, excuse me takes place after night's end so yeah i will definitely review those when i get the chance they're both very good um but i do have to say that you know the the batman daredevil's a little bit better than this but 
Yeah, this is still pretty good. Um, yeah. So please, um, you know, let me know what kind of crossovers you like. What are your favorite, comp you know, multi-company kind of crossovers? I mean, I'm not meaning Avengers and X-Men because they're both Marvel. You get to see them. But I'm talking about DC Marvel or DC Image or Marvel and Image or, uh, you know, DC and Top Cat or just whatever. I mean, there's just so much. And I want to know what are your favorites, what you like. And if you want me to, like, review one of them, if I do have the comic, um, I definitely will. Uh, I do not have Spider-Man Batman. Oh, I really want that one. Um, I have the Batman and Spider-Man. That one's awesome. When I get a chance, I'll definitely review that. Uh, yeah, and there's, you know, I have DC versus Marvel. Awesome book, by the way. People should get that. Um, but I kind of like JLA, the adventure. So if you have a choice between DC versus Marvel or JLA, the Avengers, definitely first pick off JLA and the Avengers. That one, I feel, is a better story, and I like it. Um, kind of cool thing about DC Marvel, kind of led to some more crossovers. That was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about DC versus Marvel, JLA, the Avengers, not yet. Because I'm talking about, you know, Daredevil, Batman. So, you know, please let me know what kind of crossovers you liked. What kind of crossovers you would like to see. I mean... If you would have asked me two years ago, I would have said Batman and the Ninja Turtles <laughs> would be one of them. But now they just, you know, did one. That one, oh, I want so badly. That one looks awesome. Um, yeah, it's just the Batman and the Ninja Turtles. That's something that my eight-year-old self would be freaking out. Same thing with the... 20 something year old self of mine. Freaking out about, but you know, let me tell you though. Daredevil Batman. One of my favorite Marvel heroes. Besides like Captain America, Wolverine, and Spider Man. But you know what? I would love to see Batman Wolverine team up. That would be awesome. You know, that would just be awesome because, you know, I would just love to see crossovers like that. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so, Daredevil Batman. Worth picking up. And, uh, you know, it's kind of cool to kind of read Batman Daredevil, and they're like, kind of mentioning their first meeting. Boom, this is when we first met. So, please, you loved it, hate it. So please, subscribe, like, comment. You know, please let me know what you think of, think of my channel. And I shall talk to you guys later. So, have a nice day, you bat geeks, or, or if you're a Superman fan, super geeks, or superhero geeks, there. Alright, see you later, bye.